Ken from Tech Open back again with another video this time to show you the, the issue with the Lenovo Wi-Fi 40 which actually showed up in the unboxing of this laptop that I did on my channel and I had some viewers that were actually asking me what, why it was taking so long to boot up and the solution is really simple I just didn't get down to it you know I've been kind of busy this week these past two weeks actually uh, and I haven't had time to actually fix it it wasn't something that really bothered me that much because you know as long as it was booting up I was doing something else I wasn't really that stressed out with the time but now I took some time and I'm going to explain to you how I did this uh, in my case particularly you can do it different or maybe you have a better way to do this but this is how I figured this out so the first thing I did which isn't mandatory you don't actually have to do this but I chose to do it was to go into the Lenovo Vantage software and download the Lotus, the latest BIOS option, the um, the update, which I haven't, you know, yet performs performed since I got the laptop. And all you have to do, you open this, you go to System Updates, you search for the updates. It'll search any updates you have on any hard, you know, hardware that you have, and also your BIOS. So if your BIOS isn't updated, it'll actually show up here you have a little option that'll pop up you click you download it'll download the package you click on the package um, it'll install BIOS you have, you have this little pop-up window that manages the BIOS installation automatically make sure your laptop is connected so you can you can see there's a little update right here for the camera driver and um, you go through those little steps that it tells you just press ok keep your laptop connected do not disconnect it or else you will uh, damage the uh, motherboard or your BIOS uh, let it go through it'll should restart and you're good to go in terms of bias that that was the first thing I did after that was done I press control Dell to go into the task manager I open the task manager and here on this option right here this is actually in Portuguese guys I apologize for that but I'll try to explain this to the best I can and you're going to go into the startup okay there's this little option where you you know all the programs that start up when you're still when your your system boots up and you're going to deactivate any of them that you really don't need so i have this one right here which is do it display i use for my ipad to display you know to do a dual setup with my ipad and the laptop so i'm going to deactivate that and um that's it then you just close this window and you're ready to go so that saves you memory, it saves you resources when your computer's starting up. It won't have to load up all those programs. It'll make it much, much quicker. Uh, and, you know, another reason that this should start up quicker is because it does have an SSD drive installed. That's what even made people more, you know, like blown away. Like, why was taking so long? 24 seconds was way too long. So we're, now we're fixing it. Uh, the next thing you have to do is go into this little start icon from Windows and you right click it. And you go up to energy power options energy options and you're going to open this and you have this window you scroll down and you go to additional or more settings and then you have all these little options right here and you're going to click this little option which is choose what the power button does and you're going to click it and you get this other window now windows normally in in you know you know overall normal cases it should be pre-installed with this option which is the Windows Quick Boot, Quick Start, okay? If yours doesn't have that, there's a, these are, it either did not come installed with your version of Windows or your computer does not accept it. It's not compatible, depending on your hardware and your drivers, it might not work. So you just have to test it out for yourselves. And, um, and uh, yeah, okay, so now you can see it's grayed out. I can't do anything with them. In order to be able to actually edit this, you have to press this up here, which is, um alter change uh unavailable options or something like that and it should say it in english you just press this and as soon as you do that it's not it's no longer grayed out so i can edit this with no problem whatsoever and you want to make sure this is clicked okay the quick boot windows quick boot or quick start has to be activated you have to activate this okay and then you save it sorry you save it and you're done if for some reason you don't have this option what you can do you know providing your laptop or your computer is compatible with this option what you're going to do is you're going to go once again into this little 
start icon right here, the Windows start icon, and you're gonna right click and you're going to press this one, which is run or execute, I think it's run. You press this. Okay, let's just do this. And just like you have it here, you're gonna write power, CFG, space, right slash, and then you're going to put hibernate on. Okay, and you press okay. When you do this, you activate hibernate mode on your computer in case it wasn't already activated. In mine, it wasn't because I actually installed window, Windows myself. I, I chose to order this laptop without any Windows installed. It saved me around 180 or 190 euros, not, not quite sure. So I saved a bit of money by doing it myself. But the downside was it came with that option deactivated and was taking really slow for this to boot up and until I figured it out, it took me a little, you know, a little bit of time, but now I figured it out. So uh, if you don't have it activated, like I said, you put power config, space, right slash, hibernate on, press enter and you'll have it activated. Once you go back into the power options, you know, you do that. And once you go back to this option, it'll show up right here. Then you press this again if you have to, if it's grayed out and you edit this you switch this on you save and you're done it should be the boot up really quickly now um, I would not recommend this if you have encrypted drive and I would especially not recommend you do this if you have a dual uh, boot up on this if you have two operating systems installed on your laptop on your PC I wouldn't do that either because what happens is when you have encrypted drives and you have a dual setup if you have um, a dual boot if you have this option activated on your first partition with your first operating system and for some reason you boot up into your second operating system and you try to access the hard drives that are encrypted on your first partition you could actually corrupt the files and damage and uh, create all kinds of havoc so I wouldn't I wouldn't do that uh, but you know, I'll leave that up to the experts to leave their opinions on this. I'm not an expert to actually advise you this. I'm just looking at this as a user. Uh, so do it at your own risk if you want to. I wouldn't do it. Um, <clears throat> keep in mind that if you have a small hard drive, this will actually occupy uh, about 75% of the available RAM you have, the space, the 75% of it, it will actually reserve on your hard drive to save the setup file so it can boot up into this mode. So if you have a small hard drive and you don't want that, that option to be occupying all the space on your computer, you either leave it off or you can do this little option right here, which supposedly saves some memory. So you go back to the run option, the execute CMD option, command option, and you're going to put, you're going to write down power config. I'm going to do it. Power CFG space right slash H space right slash. Um, remember the mode uh, it's right here uh, type reduced you're gonna write down type reduced and you press ok and it will won't occupy as much memory I just leave it at full but if you did reduce and you want to go back if you see that for some reason it isn't behaving the way you want to you could just replace reduced for full that's all you press ok and it goes back to the original settings so now it's ready to go uh, now we're going to test uh, the difference in speed uh, once again, to remind you, it took 24 seconds originally to start up. I can't get you out of my mind. It's like I feel it for the first time. Been thinking about you all night. I've been searching for this all my life. So now we're going to test it with this new configuration and see how it works out. So I'm going to stop this recording on the screen. Okay. And now I'm going to go back to this option just so you can see the difference. Okay, on, right here on startup the recording option I'm going to deactivate it so I have everything deactivated I don't really need all of this I'm going to close this window and now I'm going to shut it down and you're going to see the difference in startup from the 24 seconds the original 24 seconds I'm going to see the difference with the new settings okay so we're going to time this so ready three two one go 
As soon as it boots up, I'm gonna stop the timer. I can't get you out of my mind. It's like I feel it for the first time. 1036. Okay, I actually got this down, down to nine seconds for some reason. It's taking like a second more. There must be something that's kind of uh, lagging back there. But you can see from 24 seconds down to 1036. So that's a normal boot up for an SSD drive and for this kind of system. Uh, so I, I guess it's pretty much solved. And, uh, you know, I want to apologize if you guys saw the unboxing and were kind of scared off from the laptop by seeing such a slow boot up or if you had like some kind of issue with that. Um, you know, it is what it is. But, you know, I did this video to solve that issue and to, you know, make you guys assured that this is a good machine. And con contrary to what some people were saying that it's, it wasn't worth uh, the money, that's that's not correct, guys. Sorry about that. But, you know, gaming experience is awesome. I'll, I'm going to try and do a video. I've had some requests um, of people trying to, uh, you know, asking me to do some gaming on this. I'll try and do that. I've just been so super busy lately. I haven't had time. But as soon as I can, I'll do a video of that to show you how good this is gaming. And, yeah, this is basically it, guys. If you like the video, please leave your thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. Uh, and uh, if you leave any, if you have any comments about this, if you think this was a good solution, or if you have a better one, if you're an expert and you have another, you know, a more effective and you know better explanation, you know, feel free to leave your comments. I'd appreciate that, guys. And if you're new onto the channel, don't forget to subscribe. It'll really help me out to grow my channel. Uh, and yeah, see you in the next video, guys. Have a great weekend, a great week, whatever it is. See you later, guys. Bye bye. Back to my